Hello, welcome to our topic about cerebrovascular accident or also known as stroke. CVA is due to disruption with blood supply that causes muscle weakness. It may be due to ischemia or hemorrhage. So there are four classifications under the stroke. The first one is TIA, in which the symptoms persist for about 24 hours and is common the indicator of impending stroke. The next one is RIN, in which the symptoms last for about a week. Both TIA and RIN goes back to normal function. Third is stroke in evolution, in which there is a progressive neurological symptoms and the patient has not yet reached his or her stable neurological deficit. And then lastly, the completed, in which the patient presents with series of impairments due to stroke. Next, we have the four pathophysiological classifications. First is thrombotic stroke. It is a slow onset type of CVA, in which there is blockage to the blood flow leading to ischemia. It is the most common type and most commonly occurs at night. Its rescue drug is usually thrombolytics. Next would be the embolic stroke, that is due to dislodged thrombus or also known as embolus. It has a sudden onset and its rescue drug is thrombolytics, same with thrombotic stroke. Third is the lacunar stroke. It has the best prognosis and it is due to a small infarction. It could be either pure motor or pure sensory. And then lastly, the hemorrhagic stroke that is due to a ruptured blood vessel and it has a higher chance of death. Its rescue drug is IV mannitol. Then we have the manifestations. Here are the manifestations if the left side of the brain is affected. The first one is right and left discrimination deficit. Next is aphasia. Third is idiomotor and ideational apraxia. Fourth is number election. And slow in organization and performance. Next, here are the manifestation if the right side of the brain is affected. First is vicious spatial distortion. Second is neglect. Third is body image deficit. Fourth is dressing apraxia. And lastly, rapid in organization and performance. Here are the manifestations of MCA stroke. First is the main stem MCA. Next is the upper MCA. And then lastly, the lower MCA. Here are the manifestation of ACA syndrome. Here are the symptoms of ECA syndrome. Here are the manifestations of cerebellar stroke. And then lastly, the brainstem stroke. 